I would answer that question uh, by really focusing on what the gospel actually does. Um, I find that today, when you try to explain to the gospel to people who have no concept or understand at all about the things of the Bible, it's very difficult to put in words uh, so that they can relate to what you're talking about, of what the gospel really is. It's foreign to them. Uh, but I'd start by saying the gospel identifies and distinguishes the true and living God from all idols. And that kind of brings into the context, people know what idols are, they have a rough idea what idols are, uh, and, and they understand about worship. When you begin to speak to them, they understand about worship. So then uh, it's easier to bring people to a point of understanding uh, what the gospel is from that concept. Uh, the gospel also identifies and distinguishes the true Christ from the counterfeits. Uh, the gospel identifies and distinguishes the Holy Spirit from evil spirits. And uh, the gospel identifies and distinguishes the only ground of salvation from false, uh, I would say, refuges or, you know, helps. Uh, so that's how I would describe that. I would say the gospel is the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is what God has done to save humanity from the consequences of our sin through the life, the death and resurrection of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, the Apostle Paul says in Romans 1.16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and then also to the Greek.